Good morning, welcome to Food Culture. I'm Chef Heine, and here at Food Culture, it's all about bringing excellent food into the comfort of your home. Today we are doing oven-baked egg and ham rolls. You know when you take these crusty breads, you always see them on dinner tables and all of that, and you see the top cut off and they've done a soup or they've done a stew or something in it, or you go to a brine and this is the same concept, but individual rolls for each person, and we're stuffing it with breakfast ingredients. And this, what I'm doing is I like the cheddar cheese or a nice strong cheese for flavor. I find mozzarella not as strong, but for the gooey effect. So what we're gonna do for four rolls, I'm gonna take a half a cut of cheddar, nice strong cheddar, hard cheese. I find I sort of stick it in the freezer for about an hour before I use it. It's just, otherwise you're gonna end up with a cheese ball in your hand at some point. But once it's melted, it has the same desired effect. I'm gonna do some parsley or chives or spring onions. I'm mixing the parsley with some um, spring onion cuts and I'm keeping it very rough. There's my spring onion and mix again. Same thing's gonna happen with our mozzarella and our cheddar cheese. Instead of trying to do your quantities later and getting all confused, you're gonna do all the nice little dishes over here and you're just gonna whack it into one big bowl. So I'm gonna put in our cheese mix it up with this at the same time everyone remember most importantly while are you doing this and you're chopping everything remember the oven dishes the oven needs to be on prior to the time so don't forget about that put on your oven there you go nicely mixed this is double the quantity that you need because as i've mentioned or as you've seen over the week we like cheese here we're going to keep our ham like this if we have ham that has fat on it, you can just use it in layers. But always remember, try and get big slices because you're going to line a sandwich with it. So you're going to go. And you're going to take that much off. You don't want to take everything out because you're using this instead of a plate. So you don't want it all to run out. You are putting liquids in there. You know, because you want your bread in there, but you don't want the, the cavity too small. So you've got your loose bread in there. See, there it's already... We're going to shove bread into that side to keep it not broken. But I'm just covering this. If there's an overflow, it's not a biggie. What you can do, this is perfect for nice big slices. I'm going to overlap them but keep them long. So what I'm going to do is that. And I'm going to do one in. And you're going to shove it all the way in there. that so you're again going to do the cream one two your mixed cheese and mozzarella you're going to shove that in there and press it in and then mm. That minute. That's it. Ten minutes. Loosely wrap in foil. Can we pretend that this isn't blindingly hot? I've got three pans there. You pray. Remember, because you've already got bacon in, you only want to do it on top. See, I was going to put cheese on top still. So now let's forget. 